Now to a powerful new videotape that's become an internet sensation. If your teenager has not seen it, you might want to show it to them. It's designed to send a message about texting while driving. NBC's Tom Costello has details now. Hey, Tom, good morning. Hi, and good morning to you. It's the start of the school year. A lot of teens getting behind the wheel. The point of this video is to convince teens to keep these in their pockets, in their purses, in the trunk. It is a graphic video, but it does make an impression. From the Gwent Police Department in Britain, a haunting video, a dramatization aimed at a specific audience. A driver named Cassie survives, <laughs> but the accident she causes kills four people. <laughs> Texting while driving is a global problem crossing every age group. Here in the U.S., 25 died and more than 100 were injured after a Los Angeles train driver ran a signal seconds after texting. In San Antonio, this texting bus driver failed to notice traffic had stopped. While the government doesn't yet track the number of car accidents involving texting or emailing, a recent Virginia Tech study found the risk of collision jumps 23 times while texting. We asked NTSB Chairman Debbie Herzman to watch the British PSA. I think it was very graphic and I think it was very frightening, but unfortunately we see that with 40,000 fatalities every year. Those are people who don't come home. Mommy, Daddy, wake up! 17 states and D.C. now ban texting while driving. Seven states ban handheld cell phones. Next month, the Transportation Department will hold a Good summit to, to deal with all forms of distracted drivers. We all know texting while driving is dangerous, and I promise you we're going to do something about it. Meanwhile, American parents are now turning to a British public service announcement to make an impression on American teens. You heard Debbie Hersman, the NTSB chairman, talk about 40,000 people dying. That's the total number of people who die on the nation's highways and roads every year. They think that distracted driving may contribute to a quarter of that. And by the way, Ann, this video is on YouTube. It may be worth showing it to a teen you know. Back to you. All right, Tom Costello this morning. Thanks. Donnie Deutsch is the executive, uh, uh, rather advertising executive and chairman of Deutsch Inc. Donnie, hey, good morning. Hey, Ann, how you doing? I'm doing all right. But listen, you know, Tom just mentioned that it's online. According to the Gwent Police Department, it's already gotten more than a million hits. I mean, how crazy is it to you that a small police department in Wales produced this phenomenon? Uh, I mean, it is a phenomenal piece of tape. You know, I have to tell you, if anybody's got a kid out there, have them watch this tape because, you know, kids are texting today. Uh, adults are texting. And I think probably everybody who's watching this, maybe at some point they sit in a red light, they start to do this. You watch this tape, you will never do that again. And I think this is a great roadmap, no pun intended, for how to really scare kids, whether it's drinking and driving or anything. When you show it this graphic, it stays in people's heads. Yeah, well, let's talk about that. Is there real evidence that people watching this kind of a thing will change their behavior? Because, you know, the AAA did a study this year on texting and driving and found that 95% of respondents already understand that it's unacceptable, but 21% said they had recently texted or emailed while driving. So changing this behavior is going to be tough. You've seen this PSA. Can this do this? How many people can it move over? And you said the keyword understand. It's one thing if I just say to you, do you know what, Ann? It's you, you increase your risk 23 times by texting. You go, okay. Versus you visually show this. You know, we hear the numbers, we hear the fatalities, but you never actually see it this graphic. I like in this, there was a PSA about smoking in the U.S. when they showed a little boy in an airport lost crying for his mother. Or some of the things about smoking when they show the actual visual effects. It's one thing to say it. It's one thing to intellectually give it in people's brains. But when you do it this graphically, I have to tell you, I couldn't get through this thing. This was so chilling. And I will show this to every kid I know. Uh, this is... This is, to me, the way to stop this thing. And I salute this police department. And I would kind of really implore so many of these various local stations in New York, run this stuff. Put okay. this on the air. This will help. Okay, but you talked about its graphic nature, Donnie. I mean, can this kind of a PSA that is this, I mean, it's hard even, we're running it over and over again. It's so hard to even watch it once, more, much less more than once. But can this kind of material pass through all the restrictions and make it on television? 
You know, that's a great point, Andy. They're going to have problems with it. But how wrong is that? Think about the idiocy on TV right now that does pass. I, but but, but let me understand something. Shows what that, makes this, what kind of level, what, what does this not comply with? Is it the blood on the screen? What is the problem? Uh, it is, look, you know, you guys didn't even show some of the worst part of this. There's a mm. baby with his eyes wide open that's dead. There, it, it, is, it is just, they're going to say that it is just too graphic and they're going to get complaints, unfortunately. To me, if you don't run at daytime, and if you run at any time where adults are watching or young adults are watching, amen. And I think, you know, start running this thing all over the country. This is a tremendous problem. All you have to do is drive yourself and look around. And adults, I guarantee you, if you go around your set right now, Everybody at some point or another has sat at a red light and gone like this. And it's one thing to say to people it's dangerous. You see this thing, you will never do that again. Well, Donnie Deutsch, thanks so much. I mean, even if it doesn't make it on television, thank God for the Internet because it is out there. Thanks so much this morning. Sure.